Um, it's me, Candace Sam Morrell here again, uh, here with another Diabolical Lab. Let me show you my setup here. I have a, um, this is a pot on some plastic. This is really the only sane place I could think to do this. Um, and I don't have a large mixing bowl because all that stuff's in storage right now, but I have this pot and uh, it is big enough to do this experiment. I have placed three sheets of paper on there, not the printer paper specified because I'm running low on that, and I have a chem paper due to uh, But I did sacrifice some paper from one of my, one of my <laughs> multiple physics notebooks. I've been scratching out calculations like crazy. Uh, I used instead some masking tape because I thought um, that that didn't have very good gription action. I had been um, doing so, uh, wrapping up some packages for my mom and dad. Uh, you gotta have priorities. And I have this really awesome Hello Kitty duct tape. So I used that to try and to make this uh, paper as taut as possible. And uh, like I said, three sheets of paper. I'm going to take one little egg to sacrifice um, and um, basically I'm going to drop it from shoulder height over this and see if it breaks. I bet you anything it will. Uh, then after that and we'll probably see a pitiful shatter we are going to try it again except I'm going to and I already measured with my tape measure and made sure it would work. They say to space uh, three sheets of paper again but space it uh, two to three inches apart in here. And I have enough room to do that, and it might be a little difficult to get situated right, but basically what that's going to do is increase the amount of time and distance. Um, sort of think of the way that uh, a car in a crash, the um, front of the car as they make it uh, a crumple zone so that it crushes, absorbs some of the momentum um, basically, you'd have a, a change in momentum resulting from increasing the um, distance and the amount of time, um, and that would therefore decrease the magnitude of the force. So um, I'm hoping the second one doesn't break, but it probably will. Um, so I feel bad about uh, this uh, sweet organic on cage 10 laying her sweet egg uh, sacrificed for the health to become a part of me and instead uh, she is being donated to science but at least I can become a better doctor through my knowledge of this egg drop and uh, I heal people. Although I did do an egg drop <laughs> already um, when I was younger um, and then the very next year I did this whole like eco-conscious um, reciting of a poem I wrote for a, a Miss American team pageant, a state finalist for New York. And uh, so I'm feeling pretty guilty. Let's take a moment uh, to give thanks to this egg for um, sacrificing for our experiment today. Okay. Um, now, it says to use two eggs, but then it also says after that that um, we're supposed to try maybe some different kinds of fabrics or whatever. Whatever you don't want to mess with or you don't mind messing up around your house. Well, this isn't my house and uh, I think they're going to be pretty pissed if I mess up anything. So um, I think two is my limit of sacrifice. Um, plus I only have three more eggs after this. and. They are going to be used in my brother's German chocolate cake. Um, since they're both from Germany originally, you have to have priorities, you know. Okay, so let's get to the fun stuff here. Um, you're supposed to drop it shoulder length. I'm basically ducking down, putting my back out right now. So I'm, I'm going to stand up and uh, I purposely made sure that I was wearing this robe today doing these experiments because I read ahead and I knew I'd be doing this and so be all messy. And I probably get splashed all crazy. I'm not gonna like be washing all sorts of pants, so hopefully it won't splash too crazy. I put all sorts of plastic down, um, and I'm barefoot because you know it'll be easier to clean. 
Okay, here we go. I'll try and do this so that you can see. All right. Uh, dropping from shoulder height. I'll be darned. Wow, that is one tough egg. And that is why we get the uh, cage-free organic. Okay, so that was like pretty awesome actually. I'm actually very happy about that. Um, that wow, it actually broke in the paper. Check that out. Uh, can you see this? So see, it actually ripped through the paper. And that is what happens when you have a non-stressed out mother who's uh, being fed appropriate nutrition and making really nice strong shells. I swear I almost never see a broken shell in an organic cage-free uh, hen's egg uh, when I go to the supermarket. Now the other ones are all cracked up like crazy because they just feed them crap. Um, so there, that, that is further proof. See, I told you. Okay, so let's try this experiment again. I'm feeling so much happier now about that because I just hate, you know, I'm very serious about when I sacrifice little, um, you know, baby fetus and all that. You know, they're already like toast by the time I get them from the store, but, you know, you make them part of yourself and, um, let me do this so where you can see it. And you, you just don't feel as bad because I'm making it part of you so you feel like it, it's living on inside of you. Just try and live a life that it would be proud of. This is going to be a little tricky. I swear if it breaks now, I was just going to, I don't even know it. But I don't think it shouldn't um, if it made it from that first fall. Okay, I'm going to try and tape some papers spread out in there. This is a little bit more difficult, especially since I am super duper glossy. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. It's like going to be a miracle if I don't somehow tape myself to this thing. Okay, I've got one layer. I really want to save this egg now, so I'm going to go crazy with this thing. And like, Keep it up real nice on the side. So now we're going to do two more layers. And I know I make the longest lab videos in the world, but I mean, can I say? Okay, so I got a little bit of a buffer going on there. And a couple more. Okay. I'm so good. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you, it's because we took the moment. The moment to, uh, you know, recognize that egg. As we have discovered from all of our previous physics labs and chemistry labs. This whole world is just so ridiculously, oh that's good, ridiculously magical. Um, so to like take a moment and recognize all the mysterious forces in action, the magnitude of the forces that we are dealing with. It's really quite impressive. And if anything, studying all of these different forces and everything have just increased. Oh, that's nice. So it just increased my faith even more in what I'm trying to do. We'll go like this. And we'll just. Because I measured and I had about. A couple inches left over when I separated by two inches. It said two to three. So I think I've got it pretty much how they wanted it. I mean, you know, I get a little perfectionistic on some of this stuff, but 
This could have to be because the percent error that results in my clumsiness helps to compensate for any amount of numeracy as I might have in actually setting up the experiment. <laughs> Okay, I have to admit, I do have fun playing with tape, especially since it's Hello Kitty tape. It just like makes my day, makes it all the more scientific, you know? Okay. Okay, so that's really good. Now let's see. Oh no, I just had a horrible thought. What if, see, we always try and make some sort of hypothesis before we do this, what if, oh, I shouldn't even say this out loud, um, here comes the diabolical part because I know it's bad to even say this, but what if um, the egg bounces off of there and ends up breaking? That's a horrible thing to say. This video is so long, so now for the climax. Oh. Okay, I'm going to stand where I was before. So we can get the right height and everything. Okay, shoulder height. Here we go. Oh, excellent! It busted through the top layer, as we can see, and it didn't break through the second or bottom layers. It just broke through the top layer, and the egg is perfectly fine, peaceful in its little nest. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so um, I'll wrap this up and say this little baby will become part of me. I'm good at protecting the egg because I'm a woman. <laughs> Alright, peace out and remember to buy cage-free organic eggs.